Hey everyone, it's Mr. Evans. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add backgrounds to your video projects. Backgrounds can be used to make our videos more interesting, more appealing, and there's a little trick when it comes to using backgrounds that I want to make sure everyone understands, because it'll also help you when it comes time to use text in your videos. So let's take a look at how we can use them. When we look at the top of our menu bar, we see backgrounds here on the far right side. There's a little square there which has little tiny little mountains inside it. The word backgrounds is here for me right now, but it's not always up here, but the square with the little mountains will always be there. So click on that, and that will bring you to all the different backgrounds. And then we have solids, overlays, and frames, and we'll look at those in just a minute. But first, let's look at these backgrounds that they have. These are all time stamped. Uh, this one's 10 seconds long. Most of them are 10 seconds long. This one is 15. But you can see there are lots to choose from down here. And to get a preview, just click on it. This is the rainbow glow. And to use it, all you need to do is just bring it down below. So if I click on this yellow Aurora one and I bring it down below. Oh, well, it's covered up by this video. So that brings us to what I was going to talk about that will help you with text. When you are using backgrounds or text, it's important to have the background at the bottom and the text at the top. The reason for that is because these video slides kind of work like a stack of paper in a way. That the piece of paper on the bottom can't be seen because the piece of paper on top of it is covering it. So when we are stacking up our video slides, we need to make sure we have our text above it so that lays on top of this video and then our background below it so this video lays on top of the background. I hope that makes sense. So now we have this video laying over top of this one so we can't see the background. So how do we fix that? By double clicking on the video itself, that'll bring us here to the transform menu and we have the scale option. You see it's at number one right now, that means it's at 100%. It's at full size. So if I click on it and drag it to the left, you see the number go down and the size of the image go down. Now we're down to 0.5, which is half of the length and half of the width. So it's actually a quarter of the size of the normal screen. But I think you get the idea. So now we have it here in front of the background. And that's how you make the video smaller for your background. Now you can adjust the size of this if you'd like. It doesn't need to be that small. It can be whatever size you'd like. Another option here is you can move this to a different part of the screen if you'd like. If there's a reason why you'd like to have this part open, maybe you have another video you can make as your background, which we can look at right now. So if I go back to my stock media, I could use a, another video as my background if I wanted. So here I have this dog. And if I make that a little bit smaller, I can put really anything I want in as a background. As we go back to backgrounds, we see we have the solids as well. And the solids provide just a solid color. I bring that down. I'll put that behind the dog. So it all depends on what kind of effect you're looking for. Now, when it comes to using these overlays and frames, these work much like the text. Whereas if I put that under, if I put that underneath the video, I can't see it. Or at least I can, I, I can't see it for the most part. In order to fix this, we want this to go above 
the video. So I could do one of two things. I could bring the video down and put this above it like that. But then I wouldn't have a background below it. So in order to have a background and the text, I'll need to add another slide. To do that, I click on the plus symbol to add a new video or audio track. I see that it's a video track. I can also add an audio track here. And I can name this. I'm going to name this my text track. And there it is. And I can rename this and all of these if I'd like by clicking on the three red dots. No, I guess it's not there. I guess I click on this. I'm sorry. I, I, I click on the video itself. But you don't need to change these if you don't want, if you don't want to. So now I have the text here, video here, and I can put my background in. So now we're layering the video tracks where we have the text, the video, and then the background. So moving on to some of these other overlays, there's lot, there are lots to choose from here. You saw this bang one, but we can swap that out for a couple others if you want to take a look. This tree one is pretty interesting. But they add all sorts of different effects. Um, the snow one. There's also this glitter one, too, that's really popular. But it can just add something special, you know, something a little extra to your video. And then we also have frames. Frames are just as you would think. It's like a frame for a picture. You can bring, bring it down, and there you have that. And some of these move, like this blob moves. But these can all be used in different ways. You know, maybe you wouldn't use a background for this. Maybe you would just use it full size. It all depends on what you're trying to do. So there we have background, solids, overlays, and frames. And we've also looked at how we can layer the tracks with text, video, and background. And we always want to make sure we have text above video and video above background. Because again, it's like a stack of papers that we can't see one below the other unless we make it smaller. And by making the frame, and to make the frame smaller, we double click on it or make the video smaller. We double click on it and then we can adjust the size of it using the scale option. And you can also move this around if you'd like. It all depends on what you're trying to do. So there's some good information on using backgrounds in your videos. I hope you get to use backgrounds in yours and I can't wait to check it out. Thanks so much. Have a great day.